Great voice, Joe. Yes, he's very talented. Gives it all for me, of course. Now, wait a minute. Don't forget that I'm just as much a part of that act as when you worked at Williams and Lee. And speaking of water, let's hear from Stonewall and Jackson. That's us. Yeah, man. Yes, do one of those routines you used to do when we were all in the band box for you. Yeah, what'd you do that automobile out? Oh, I sold it. You sold it? Yeah. And uh, didn't tell me nothing about it? Well, why the money? Oh, I got the right gentleman for Well, how much is it? Uh, $40. Well, you know I do half of $40. I guess you know how much half of 40 is. Yeah, half of 40 is $11.50. Eh? Oh, yes. Boy, I don't want to teach you out nothing. Half of 40 is 20, so that's 20 for you, and I got 22. You got, you got 22? Yes. You got too much. How do you figure I got too much? Well, if I got 20 and you got 22, you got $2 more than me. So you give me one, I'll have 21, you'll have 21. No, if I got 21, you got 21, that'd be 42. But see, the one was 40. I'd give you 20 and I took 22. Well, you give me one, I'll have what you give. Okay, well, I give you one, you'll have more than I got, so you already got 20. Well, you give me one, I'll have what you give. Well, I'll have 21, I'll have what you give. Well, I'll have 21, you'll have more than I got, so you already got 20. I'll give you one, you have 21, now I'll have a 19. 19? Oh, give me that money here. You can't keep me that form of their ride. Now, I'm going to start a continent over here, and when it run out, it'll run out over here. So, there's 10 for me, and there's 10 for you. There's another 10 for me, and another 10 for you. Now, I got 20, and you got 22. Oh, oh look here, something's wrong. Now. Give me that money here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, right? Just thinking. Getting in too deep with your experiments? 
Well, Sam, as you know, ever since I lost my job, George Elliott, I've been investigating the impure food sold in Harlem. I've analyzed every brand of canned goods and every kind of meat, but I've gone as far as I can with chemistry. What do you mean? Well, here's one thing, for example. I built that makeshift lab in the back of my room because I had an idea about some foods sold in Harlem. Then I found that Adam and Eden brand were not only third-rate products, but they're preserved and colored with chemicals that are cheap and in large enough doses, poisonous. Well, what about the store owners? They ought to be able to give you some dope. They could, but they won't. Afraid to talk. Racketeers are behind the whole thing. The food is cheap. Storekeepers not only force to handle their brands, but they have to sell. And the people suffer. Why, only the other day I ran into Elliot McCaffman Market, and he up and got started. Made a remark about me being an amateur chemist, and even went so far as to threaten me. Well, what did you say to him? Oh, I threatened back. Just bluffing, of course. <laughs> well, you know what you're up against. Up a mob in Harlem. I know. For in my very small law practice, I've seen the way they work. Now, why don't you give your findings to the government and let it go at that? I have, Stan, but they may not be able to get to it for six months. Yeah. A lot of damage can be done in that time. But I'm with you all the way. Thanks, Joe. I know you feel that way about it. Don't you two ever get tired talking business? Hello? Yes. One moment. For you, Joe. Thanks. Hello? Yes? Yes? Apartment A. All right. All right, I'll be right down. Better go downstairs a minute, honey. I'll be right back. Okay. that this man died of cyanide poisoning. The eye shows a red line. Been dead about an hour. Check that cyanide stuff, Doc. Give him a good going over at the morgue. I don't know if you find any bruises. Make way, make way. Thank you, thank you, Any old thing. Never mind the double talk. Just check the prints, that's all. Well, well, it isn't Charlie Mark. I hear your feet got so flat that last cave, the coroner mistook them for the body and said, Oh, for those guys that did. Now listen, man. I don't want any trouble with you this trip. So lay off the kidding me about my feet. Will you do that? Yes, sir. But remember this, Marley. Someday those dogs of yours are going to get happy and wag you to death. Oh, now, can the chatter. Say, who are you? I'm Joe Williams. Uh, I live upstairs. What are you doing down here? I got a telephone message asking me to come down. The man said it was urgent. And? And then I found the body, just as you saw. Sure. Elliot probably wanted you to help him pick out a cemetery. Well, you certainly don't think that oh, I... Oh, no. Looks too much like you're dead. Well, we never arrest anyone with all the evidence points to them. But, uh, uh... Listen, boys, you take care of everything down here. I'll call you if I need you. Hey, you Come on. on. Get on out of here. Come in. Oh, Joe! Oh, it's all right, honey. Easy. Easy. What's wrong, dear? Nothing important, lady. Just a murder. Oh. There's nothing to worry about, darling. I didn't have anything to do with it. Take a peek around, Chris. 
Okay, Bob. Don't say a word, Joe. Just use your head. Leave the talking to me. You even got your mouthpiece handy. Pretty neat. Save your opinion or I'll have you over the commissioner. All right, all right. Oh. Oh, honey. Okay, boss. Did you get anything? Yeah, just a little bit of cyanide. By all means, Come on, let's go. Don't worry, I'll be back in an hour. Okay. Come on, son. Brace up. Here, stick your mother till I get back to me. Good. Till you get back. Terrible. boy. Come on. I'll be down to the station in a little while. I want to have a look around. Tell me to stay with Ida, will you? Sure. Oh, uh, we'll straighten it all out. I mean, honey. I put off saying these things from day to day because, well, I, I just didn't have the heart. But sooner or later, you're going to have to hear it. Not now, please, Sam. Yes, now. Come on, Ida. Get a hold of yourself. Go ahead, well, let's put it this way, Ida. There were three things you can do with a situation or a problem. Destroy it. Solve it. Or run away from it, and you're running away. You're trying to erase with memories and wishes what happened. But things were life goes on. And you? Well, you're in the same boat as the rest of us. Struggle or quit. Now, what's it going to be? I don't understand. Oh, yes, you do. And it's not quit. You've got to fight, Ida. Dreaming how happy you and Joe are won't help any. I know. What can I do? Well, first of all, you have to get a job. Your financial status couldn't be any worse. Pardon me, Sam. Jimmy, why don't you run out and play, huh? Okay. Jimmy, be careful crossing the street, darling. Yes, okay, Mom. Can I tell her what you found? The other day I found something that looks like our first real clue. Well, what is it? This. It's nothing but a soul shake. Yeah, that's what I thought. But there was cyanide. Did you tell the police? No, I didn't. They'd pass it off as unimportant, but it gives us our first real clue. I don't see how. Well, look. It just has Apex written on it, that's so. all. That's right. And when I find out where this came from, then we'll be getting something. We have a special treat. Straight from Hollywood, where we've been cleaning up. Sidewalk varieties to bring our guest artists of the evening. Jimmy Wiggins. Come on, break it up, break it up. Lay off that. You don't want anyone saying that Lucky John won't help struggling amateurs. I was just... Hey, kid. You got a lovely voice. How would you like to sing to me? Go ahead, I'll make it worth your while. Ah, golden. Let me look at Lincoln. Go ahead, take it. Boy, oh boy. Hey. Hey, what's your name, kid? James C. Williams, sir. James C. Williams, eh? Any relations to Joe and Ida Williams? He's talking about your old man. Why don't you keep quiet? Come on, kid, buck up. I know your father. He got a dirty deal. That's right. He didn't have a thing to do. That's it, kid. And I'm plugging for you. You want me to get him out? Not just yet, Jimmy, but we'll find a way. 
How would you like to come in and sing for me now? We'll have a little party. Okay. Uh, sure, sure, come on. Open up, Dust. We got some cash customers. Well, Jimmy, where have you been? I've been worried about you. Look, Margaret. Well, where did you get that? We gave it to you. The same. Well, that's very generous, but we can't take it. But you've got to. We get on it. We've got a great pair of pipes. Do you mind my being here? Yeah, I suppose not. I'd never know you were his mother. Yes, I know. I guess I look like his younger sister. <laughs> You're a little ahead of me. Yes, and I think I'll stay that way. I see you know me. You're lucky, John. That's right. Didn't know I was so famous. Bad news is always in a hurry. Maybe this is good news. I'm willing to give the kid a job as a trocadero. And if you're as good as you used to be, I could use you too. No, thanks. Okay, that's the way you feel. Yes, that's the way we feel. Just don't forget, we don't think for anybody else in this town. I'll see to that. We'll get along. I'll call you in a couple of days. Just got an idea you listen to reason by then.
Ida, we're getting no place back. No progress with the appeal. I can see that. I don't know. Maybe I'm not up to it. Why don't you try another lawyer? You're not quitting, are you, Stan? Quitting? Of course not. I'm only thinking of you and Jimmy. Yes, I know. But you're doing everything within your power. Even so, you have money now. Perhaps some big office might be able to pull strings. Oh, that's a little silly thing. And even if we were able to buy Joe's way out of prison, he wouldn't want that. You're right. Don't worry, Stan. It's hard, but I have faith in you. If just one thing would break, that fall shaker still has me stopped. I've tried every phone book, buyer's guide, manufacturer's guide, and there's no such thing as they say. I figure it must be a restroom. Oh, we've got to keep at it, Stan. We're bound to find it. And when we do, we'll have the clue as to who's behind all this. Yeah, that's just so hard. We're up against something we can't see. Oh, we know we might see the man who framed Joe every day and not know. That's an idea. What do you mean? Lucky Joe. Do you really think? I don't know. My possible. Here's what we can do. When you go to state prison to see Joe tomorrow, ask him. In the meantime, I'll see Lucky myself. What are you going to say to him? You can't accuse him. I wouldn't be that foolish. But here's the idea. Lucky's in touch with every racket in this town. Now he must know who's mixed up in this food game. That's right. And where you're concerned, Lucky would go out of his way a little. Yes, I know. Well, I have to be going. Now, don't forget that joke. Give it a try. Just don't forget. You 
take orders from me. Now that you're in, there is only one way out. It's a deal. And Sam, I have been caught, but no one ever lived to brag about it. When I go for anything, I go all the way. Okay. <laughs>
I suppose so. Folks, I never think about it. Yes, I imagine when a man becomes important, he's the right kind of man. Never thinks about all the work he has to do. That's right. He just does it. Excuse me. Oh? Yes, this is what John Salmon. Yes. I'll take 3,000 of those at the last one is right. All right? I'll expect immediate delivery. Good. Get me John Swift at the evening press. Tell him to call me in the morning. Got that? Good. That must be a wonderful feeling of power to be able to do that. And have all those people at your call. <laughs> I've only started. I'm moving fast. Probably in the back office. Okay. Well, now that you know where it is, you're always welcome. I'd like to have you up some weekend. Oh, that's very nice. I'd like to be nice to you in lots of ways, I think. Oh, I had no idea you felt this way. Just too flustered to answer. You know, it isn't every day that a man like you makes such a noble offer. I understand. John, that's what I like about you. You're so understanding. I haven't forgotten when I was small fry. John, with all this, she has remained so human. Hey, little girl. I have a trifle here. I want you to have it. Oh, they're beautiful. They're yours. Oh, no, I couldn't take them, really, I couldn't. But I wouldn't want anyone else to wear them, but you. Sonny, most people go to jail because they've been bad. You haven't been bad, have you? No, sir. Well, you just keep on being a good boy, and you'll never have any trouble with the law. Well, what do people do to go to jail? Oh, a lot of different things. Now, a young man like you can keep out of jail by not breaking any windows and by not stealing any fruit, understand? Thank you. Okay, step please. <laughs> Office Hampton's recording. No, nothing seems to be happening, Sarge. Uncooked. I think I've got something here, Sarge. Well, old man, didn't I just tell you about breaking windows and stealing fruit? But I want to go to jail. Now, listen, son. You don't want to go to prison. Why, jail is an awful place. It locks you up. Don't let you see any movies, and say, you can't go swimming when you're in prison. I know, but I just got to. Well, why do you want to go to jail, Sarge? I've got a fine night, Dad. And who is your father? Joe Williams. Oh, so you're Joe Williams' boy, are you? And you sing over the chocolate there? That's right. Oh, well, why didn't you say that? Well, there isn't anything we wouldn't do for little Jimmy Williams. Now, you come on with me, and I'll see if I can find your dad. Well, this is Mr. John gave it to me just a little while ago. How's your mother been lately? Much better, thank you, Mr. Williams. And is everything all right with the job? Oh, yes, Mrs. Williams. I can never thank you enough for what you did for me. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Hello, everybody. Hello, darling. Hello, Mella. Hi, have you seen little Jimmy? No, isn't he around? Well, I've looked everywhere. No one seems to know where he is. Well, I saw him run out of here about half an hour ago. Didn't you send him out? No, I didn't. Well, maybe he went home. Possibly, but I can't understand it. 
never done that before. Did you look in the kitchen, Millie? Really? Yes, I did. The chef hasn't seen him either. Well, perhaps you'd better go home and see what's wrong. Yeah, I think I will. Well, shall I go with you? No, it won't be necessary, Sam. Thanks, Mr. Sam. Take this for cab, Sam. And if you need me, call me. I'll be here. Thanks. Everything will be all right, honey. Now, I hope so. You suppose anything could have happened to little Jimmy? No, he probably just got temperamental, that's all. Starting rather young, isn't he? Waiter. Will I have some salt for this steak, please? Yes. You're looking steaky out there. I'll buy you one to match your bracelet. Mm. The waiter. Let me borrow a pencil and then you can. I guess. Think, man. It must have come from someplace. Was this place ever known as the Apex to think? No, sir. Well, since one of your customers didn't bring it. No, sir. They don't bring it. They take it. Maybe the boss walked to a place to close. That's it. That's it, Mr. Jackson. Now I remember. Look, Mr. Lucky used to own the Apex Cafe in St. Louis. Oh. So Lucky used to own the Apex, did he? That's all, man. I've got it, Louis. I've got it. Why didn't I think of that before? Oh, Sam. I'm the one that's going to do the talking. So you talked to the railroad Joe Williams, did you? What are you talking about, Sam? Sit down. You know very well what I'm talking about. That Elliot job was rather clever. Not clever enough. That's the trouble with you big shots. You're all clever. But this time, you were too clever. And if you think I haven't enough evidence to back up what I say, wait till I get some talk to the district attorney. Now, wait a minute, Sam. You know you can always talk things over with me. We'll talk things over. Down at headquarters. And I think it will be real rude to Joe and then one after Ryder. I don't know what stops me from pulling this trigger. Are you sure you're not bluffing, Sam? Bluffing? Why should I bluff? Well, I have the letters left by Elliot. Oh, but you didn't know I had it. Well, I... Reach, punk, and keep that water pistol in your pocket. Well, smart Alex, things have got turned about, haven't they? You didn't really think you could outsmart Lucky John, did you? Come on, Chief, let me take care of this guy, will you? Not yet. Not just yet, Ace. I want to find out just how much he's told his friend. He's got some talking to do, haven't you, Sam? Start talking, bum. Come on, cheesecake. How much do you know? Twenty. If I ever get out of here. Cut the fight dream to get out of brass sack. Are you going to talk? You seem to be forgetting that I've got ways and means of making stupid detectives feel. Give me how's that? Shall we go now? I'm ready. Fine, the first is going to tell from your mother. I don't want my mother. I want to find my father. Why, well, of course, I will find your father. Hello, operator? This is the club trocadero. This guy sure is tough, Chief. Definitely. You're back. Hello? Oh, hello, Sarge. How is everything in the 28th season today? That's what we like to hear. Well, what can I do for you? We have Jimmy Williams over here. Oh, yeah? So you have Jimmy Williams there? <laughs> well, that's fine. <coughs> no, you needn't send a man over. One of my men will bring the boy up. Yes, Mrs. Williams will be here soon. You said he broke a window? Well, that's all right. I'll pay for it. Thank you very much. I'll see that you get a box of cigars for this. <laughs> So long. I've got to go to the police headquarters and bring Jimmy Williams over to me right away. You get that? Good. I'm going to find Dad. 
Please don't worry about me. I'll get along somehow. Please don't look for me. Your loving son, Tim. Police headquarters. Police headquarters? I'd like to report a runaway child. Yes, that's right. I don't know. I just got his note. My name is Mrs. Joe Williams. His name is Jimmy Williams. You found it? Oh, I'm so glad. Where is he now? He's at the Trocadero. Oh, thank you so much. That's perfectly all right. As long as you're safe. Thank you. Oh, you don't. Get over here. Well, Mr. Iron Man, have you had enough? Are you going to talk? Okay, Tuffy. You asked for it. You're going to get it. Press the off the upstate hideout. That's the idea. Thus, get the big car. Ace, tie that club and pull up and see if you can't convince him to be sensible. Out outside, ready to roll. Let's get out of here. Okay, Chief. Come on, Jimmy. You're going for a ride. A nice long ride. Harlem 5, 3009, please. Hello? Who is it, Helen? Yes. This is Helen, Mrs. Williams. I haven't seen you, Jimmy, since Lucky took 10 minutes to dust and went out the back door. No, they didn't say where they were going, but it looked awful queer to me. I thought Mr. Jackson's arms were tied behind him. I tried to get you on the phone, but there wasn't any answer. No. I don't know, Mrs. Williams. Is anything wrong? I don't understand. Thank you, Helen. You ought to be able to see anybody here. They're terrified. Sergeant, they're taking them away. Madam, don't be excited. Who is taking whom away? My little Jimmy. Lucky John. They all left the club in a hurry. Well, calm down just a little bit and try to think where they would go. Oh, but they didn't tell me. They just took it. Sergeant, he's such a little boy. Please, can't you do something? But, my dear woman, where would they go? We can't help you until we find them where they went. Middletown. Of course. That's where they always go. They're up at the public cottage. Middletown? Now we're getting some place. I knew that Lucky John would show his hand sooner or later. Telephone the chief of police of Middletown and tell him that we're on our way up. Right, sir. Are you going to talk, Sam? Okay. Hey, Chief, will you let me take care of this guy? Don't be impatient, eh? Can't you see what you come to the kid? Why don't you sit there? Please, Sam. I can't stand it any longer. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. If I do tell you all I know. Why, you don't think I'm the kind of a guy who... Come, I told you we wasted too much time. Why, let me think. 
Well, it'll take a powerful mess of to get you out of this one, Chief. Who's there? It's the law. Open up, Dr. John. We've got you covered. How many of them, Dad? Too many, Chief. One of you coppers step in that door, I'll... I'll flood the kid. You can't do that, Sergeant. Take them out, boy. Well, that's right. Well, I suppose if we don't rush them, they'll rush us. No, no. There's too many of us. Lucky you better come out peacefully. What's the matter, Lucky? Look like your number's up. Don't tell me the rule of the pound of licks. I'll bet the boys would give plenty to see this. You wouldn't shoot me. Besides, we've got one murder rap on you already. Turning yellow, I tell you. Come on in. Oh, no, no. Don't you? Don't you? Well, if it isn't the big shot himself. All through playing cops and robbers, Lucky. Nice work, Foxy. Now, if you'll just do me one more favor, then the job will be complete. What is it, Stan? I'd like to talk to our friend here, alone. No, no, Sarge. You can't do that to me. Take me with us, Sarge. Put me in jail, but, but, but don't leave me here with us. I'm afraid I can't be a thing you say. Thanks, Roger. I'll do as much for you sometime. present the newest, sweetest voice in radio, Jimmy Williams. Yeah. 